Hello everyone, my name is Droogie Forever, and today we're playing Silent Hill Little Baroness. Uh, this is an in-development project. This is the demo, uh, which you can get by following the creator's Patreon. Um, for $3 or more a month, you get access to the demo. And this is the demo here. Um, it has some placeholder art and assets, so just keep that in mind. Is that a car parked up there? Okay. I'm not 100% sure why it's in ultra widescreen like like the Evil Within, but uh I could take that path right there, but I kind of just want to see what's going on up here. So bright, I can't see past it. I just want to see what's going on. Yeah, see, he's putting his hand up. Here we go. Hello, is anyone there? It's a crazy car. See anyone sitting here? Looks like a train car over there, maybe. I don't know what I'm looking for. Oh, what the hell? See an enemy. I don't know if I'm supposed to. There is a crouch button. There's the symbol that was on the car. Okay, somehow we ended up in a building. Interesting. I don't know whether to go up or down. I don't know what's going on here. Whoa. As soon as that came up, everything just come to a standstill. Chapter 1, Welcome Home. Tales from Silent Hill. Reach room 1, 2, 3. That is room one, two, three. Trying to listen. I don't know if we're supposed to listen to the whole conversation or not. Oh, it's funny, they all say one, two, three on them. It's probably that one, or that, well, or that one. I have no idea what button interact is either. Okay, I think it's the mouse button.
Is that Pyramid Head and James? It is. The town's main tourist attraction. This clear, beautiful lake has another side as well. It may seem like just a typical ghost story that you might find in any number of old towns across the country. But in this case, the legend is true. On a fog-bound November day in 1918, the Little Baroness, a ship filled with tourists... I don't know how to rotate it. A newspaper article from... Trying. ...simply says it most likely sunk for some reason. Despite an extensive police search... Not Nothing's a rotating it. ...nor any of the 14 bodies of the passengers or crew has ever been recovered. I have no idea how to rotate it. Many corpses rest at the bottom of this... There we go. ...their bony hands reach up towards the boats that pass overhead. Perhaps they reach for their comrades. In other news... Nice. All right, I don't know if I need this for anything, so we will probably just... What happened to it? It disappeared when I threw it. This is the smallest kitchen I've ever seen in my entire life. I'm not even kidding. I've lived in some crazy small places. Okay, I just wanted to look around a little bit. That's weird. Weird things are happening. Yep. Weird things. I wonder if I should have searched around a little bit more in there just to make sure there was nothing else. What the hell is that thing? Oh, I remember that. I think uh, SB drew a picture of that and then, because I'm in the Discord that the developer's in. Um, I think SB drew a picture of that creature for this game. Okay. Those look familiar. Let's see if this will open. Probably not. The hell? Oh. Whatever's in my way is preventing me from going over there. Alright, elevators never opened. So, let's head on up. Get on up. Get up. Get on up. See, the closed doors need to make a noise when I click on them. That's how you figure out what buttons work and what buttons don't when it makes a noise you realize oh that's the that's the button I'm supposed to be using that's why at the beginning of the game I could not figure out what the right button was because nothing was reacting to anything I was doing you've got to you've got to understand that that's how if you're not going to tell people what the keys are and not give them a menu 
you know, you've got to give them some way of no understanding what the key is, what the correct key is. So I can't get through here, apparently. And I clicked on all the other doors and did not appear to be able to get through those either. So that's worrisome. Can't get through there. This is not working. And again, I've clicked on all the doors. What's this thing? I don't know what that is. I don't know. I'll go up again and then maybe I need to go back to the room we started in. I don't know. Oh, flashlight that I'm apparently not allowed to pick up. See, and again, no reaction is why I'm, uh, why you see me clicking on the door 50 times and you hear it after we go into the next scenes, because, you know, I can't tell that. Can I crawl under this? God, I hope so. There we go. That did something. Okay. So how do I know what that did? Obviously, it turned on electric somewhere, but where? Starting to wonder if I actually was supposed to be able to move these. They sure are not moving for me, though. I don't know. Whatever. Alright, so what would the electric done? Started up the elevator, maybe? Sure didn't do anything right there. Oh, what the hell? What did it do? There's like no indication of what it did. What the hell? How do I know what... Oh, come on, man. This is so irritating. There's just things missing from this that definitely should be here. Like the thing I mentioned about keys that you push making noise and... Alright, so this drained water, apparently, is what it did. I don't know what to do about this, because I kind of want to click on that door, but... Okay, whatever. Okay, so with all the water drained, what does that mean? I mean, the doors still aren't letting me in. So, is there something in the apartment I need? That it's drained or something. Okay, can't pick up that or that or that. Turn the light on. Looks like James's coat. It's not gonna let me pick up anything though, so I guess there was no point in coming back here. I just assumed there was something I had to pick up here because nothing else seems to be working. I have no idea. 
What was the point of draining the water? Oh, I got it. Let me guess. I'm supposed to go down another floor. Yep. See, that's information that would have been useful to have. What in just happened there? An even stranger incident occurred. Only the ship was found. Not a single soul was found on board. With the vessel completely undamaged, there was no reason for anyone to have jumped overboard. Much like the Mary Celeste in 1872 and the Carol Deering in 1921. The passengers vanished as if they were never there. At the time, the prevailing theory was that a mass suicide had been carried out. More recently, another unexplainable event happened only six years ago. In order to verify the truth of the legends surrounding the lake... Oh, well, there we go. It was actually nothing more than a dare. Two students went missing after venturing out onto the lake in a small boat. Interesting. Once I hit return to menu, it's going to close the game. Uh, that's what the developer said. So anyway, there you go. That's Silent Hill Little Baroness, still very much in development with placeholder assets. Um, but, you know, promising start. It's just, you know, there's some little things that I feel like need added, but promising start. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, tell that like button you want to smash. And don't forget to subscribe. You stay you. I'll stay me. Droogie forever. Thank you everybody so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll see you in the next video. Later.